Melanoma ain't promoted by sun, right? That's the revelation here today. So 95% of terrestrial UV energy is UVA, and it goes through ozone and even glass. It's got benefits, but you might argue that UVA could be uh, causing or causal of malignant melanoma. So the irony is, it's not even the UVB that we try and block. It's probably the UVA that has some connection to melanoma. And it goes through glass and ozone and most sunblocks anyway. So the melanoma zone, if there is one, that's the serious stuff. And it's more attached to UVA. And the squamous and basal cells, skin cancers, which are kind of cosmetic, have tiny mortalities. And the deaths per year out of 340 million people in the USA are 2,000. There's 9,000 deaths a year from melanoma, and that would be more linked to UVA, right? Most sunscreens don't block UVA. Some of the modern ones do, but most of the, the historical ones didn't. So they were completely like a chocolate teapot, as we'd say in Ireland, a chocolate radiator, utterly useless. But the sunscreens block like hell UVB, it can't even go through tissue paper. So they stop you getting your vitamin D. They stop you getting your sun callus or your tan. They don't do anything related to cancer, right? They're a disaster. And I said, who's the idiot? Evolution itself or how humans interpreted it or the medical industry or big pharma or the cosmetic sunscreen industry? Weekend exposure in this study for melanoma occurrence and risk. Higher sun, lower melanoma. Holiday exposure from big surveys with the study groups, a few thousand people. Higher holiday exposure recorded, lower melanoma risk. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the high UVB period, they asked them. Higher exposure, lower melanoma occurrence. Strong correlation seen in this study to their vitamin D level. Surprise, surprise. And one of many, many studies showing this effect. Higher sun, lower malignant melanoma, lower mortality from melanoma. Out the wazoo. No one wants to look at these studies and no one has studies showing the opposite. It's just fairy stories, guys. Sorry. The real risk factors for malignant melanoma in the same study called out by these teams, significant sun burning incidents did have a weak risk or higher risk ratio for melanoma. And anyone who burns themselves, let's be honest, I don't want to be harsh. They're kind of an idiot anyway, because no one burnt themselves a thousand or two thousand years ago. That's a modern phenomenon of office workers getting two weeks off in high summer and going to south of Spain and burning their ass off. That's just idiocy. And light skin, freckles, red hair, and a propensity to burn was a risk factor for melanoma. So in a nutshell, as much sun as you can get without burning will make you live longer and healthier, and you won't have to worry about melanoma, and you might get a little bit more cosmetic skin cancers, but it's a small price to pay. And if you burn, 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 baby, you will cause deep damage to your skin and it may tend towards a high risk for melanoma. It's not a simple message. As much sun as you can get without burning, right? Don't be an idiot and you'll be healthier and live longer and everything will be better.